back to my channel. I do apologize for the noise in the background. Let me see if I could do something about it. Hold on. All right, beauties. I try to control that as much as I can, and I got a piece of brownie, which is a little bit on the dry side, but it's pretty good. I haven't had cake in a while, so it's like, if I do have brownie in my teeth, I do apologize for it. So I already washed my face with True Beauty's um, Acne Cleaner because I am breaking out. Mmm. Mmm. I finally got myself relief from this one right over here that unfortunately has left me. I still have it there. It's not as big. But now I'm having one right here. So it's like, <clears throat> I'm going to try not to touch this one at all because I touched this one and it was like a, it basically took, it has taken over a month to heal. And now I have these little babies right over here. This one right over here. So I'm trying not to touch my acne as much, although it's very, very, very tempting. But anyways, today we're just going to go ahead and get ready with me. It's already pretty late, actually, which kind of sucks. But another thing that I have been doing, because I really want to get fit and I want to kind of, like, lose weight, is that I've been drinking water. I've been trying to drink a lot of water because I know water is really good for your body. Water takes care of more than 80% of your body, so you need it. And I'm not really a good person who drinks water i love coffee i could drink like eight cups of coffee with no problem water i struggle with that okay so i already went ahead and washed my face now i'm gonna go ahead with the true beauty this one is the mary jane it is a glow serum it does contain um cbd right over here and you know i really do love this product i feel like it has been clearing up a lot of my acne scarring but as well as I love the feeling of just even putting this product on my skin. It's 100 milligrams of CBD, vitamin A, cannabis, stevia, caffeine, and glycerin boost. Which is good for the skin. It's supposed to like make your skin more radiant. So I do really like using this one for my skin to just give that beautiful glow. With that one, you do want to use either, it says that you should use a toner before you put that one on, but I don't really use a toner, I just go straight with that, and then I go ahead with this one, which is True Beauty Glass. Um, it's, it's called Glass Skin Face Serum. I love this one. It is a little bit pricey. I love how it comes in the bottle. It's just so cute, but it's, uh, it's I mean, it's not that up there in price. But I think it is a little bit pricey because it doesn't really contain as much product in here. Moving on, I just go ahead and spray some beautiful fragrance. I have this little one which is cute because the big one's all the way up there and I don't feel like getting up. It is a Mario by the Scoo and this is a face oil. This one is the, uh, the face oil. It's a face spray. This one is the olive, the olive, olive, I'm out of it. This is a lavender one. So I go ahead and just spray that. Let it sink in a bit. Now, I did end up buying some new foundation online, which um, it sucks because sometimes when you're shopping online, if you guys have the iPhone, it goes yellow toned at nighttime. If you guys have that to help you reduce the blue light because blue light does hurt your vision and blue light will affect your vision in the long run. So when I bought everything, I bought everything mostly at night. I am an online shopper at night. Tell me, comment down below. Let me know if you guys shop online or in the morning or at night. I do it mine's at night. I don't know. It feels more relaxing. I don't feel like I'm speeding up. So I ended up buying this one from Julius Palette. And I've seen a lot of good reviews of it. I just didn't have the guts to buy it. And I bought this one. And I thought this one was my shade. But it's actually a little bit lighter. It's called Barcelona. And, um... Oh, hold on. Let me apply primer first before I go ahead and do that. And, um, it's actually a lot lighter than what I was expecting. Which is okay. I mean... I can use it as like just my front, like my center part of my face. And then the other side, I just use another foundation. Okay, so I actually already own a Lancome foundation. So I am not as dark as this one anymore. So I decided to go a little bit lighter, I believe so. This one is 4010 Biscuit W. And this one is 300 Biscuit W. So let, let's see um how that turned out. But anyways... I'm going to go ahead and swatch to show you guys. I'm not a person who really returns foundations at all because, I mean, my it's my mistake. It's not their mistakes. It's my mistakes. It's not theirs. It's mine. So as you can see, that's, this is very, very light compared to the Lancome, which is the reason why I ended up buying a darker one. 
because I kind of am not as dark anymore. I've been avoiding the sun. See, look. I mean, in camera, it doesn't look that bad, actually. Hmm. Maybe it's just my eyes. Okay. Then, I ended up buying the foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hill, which, again, my purchase. It wasn't their fault. It's my fault. Go ahead. And I've seen a lot of good reviews about this. So I was like, oh, right, look. I mean, it's... It's darker than my other, than this one, which is kind of like weird. You know what? Now that I'm looking at the camera and the reflection, this one just looks darker than this one. You know what? This is what happens when you online shop at night. I mean, it's not that bad. It's, it's actually, yeah, no, it's really dark, actually. Now I'm trying to spread it out. It's it's way too orange. But it's okay because we got a, we bought a lot of, uh, we bought a lighter stick foundation. So that should even it out somehow by blending. Blending is your key when you don't have the right foundation. Ooh, I like this luminous look. All right, so that ended up blending out pretty nice. You always wanna to try to blend out as much as you can to your neck because, I mean, this is a little bit darker, which I don't really mind. I prefer having a darker shade than a lighter shade just because I feel like I could get away with it and just like kinda of like put a little bit of moisturizer glowing moisturizer in my skin and call it a day hmm. my acne is still picking through which isn't okay now we're gonna go ahead and apply some powder I'm gonna use the makeup revolution and this one is in their uh light yellow loose powder let's go ahead and just shake it up a little Ooh, I said a little bit and I shook that thing up I kind of like applying it first in my hand and then going in my skin I, I mean, first impressions, honestly speaking, I really do like the fact that it gives you that luminosity glow. Like, even, it's even peeking out through the damn powder. So, I, I actually really like that foundation. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. I wasn't saying that I wasn't going to like it, but I'm just in shock because, to me, kind of, I haven't found, like, the perfect foundation, the best foundation, the my my holy grail foundation. I haven't really found it. So, you know, that's actually pretty impressive. I got this palette because I was like, you know what? I need more bronzers. I have my, um, what is it called? I have my Benefit one, so palette, which I'm almost done with the bronzer, which I need to buy myself a new one. But I'm like, you know what? Let's try. This one's like a cheaper alternative. It let, Let's see how this one works. The Hoola bronzer, I, I like buying the full palette even though it has blush. I don't really use blush, but when I do like my mom's makeup or my little sister's makeup, you know, they use blush because they have that skin tone that looks good on blush. I don't really use blush. I'm not a big fan of it, but I do buy that just because it's kind of like, it's basically $30 for one of the Hoola bronzers and then $30 for the other one, which makes it 60 And the palette, its whole self is 60 so it's like... I don't know my my point of view of shopping all right so let's go ahead and try this one this is my first time trying it um I already kind of like got into this one because it looks like this one might be like the best shade it is a bit powdery so let's, let's go light on this I mean it's not that bad huh Let's go ahead in here. Okay, it's it's not that bad. I'm afraid to go a little bit darker, but let's go ahead and try it. Let's try this one right over here. Tap out the excess. Cause we don't really know how pigmented is. Oh, I messed up. Oh hell no. You guys see that? It's like a it's like a oh no oh, man. Okay, so that was definitely a no good for me. Let's try to blend this out completely. Oh no. Barb is such a beautiful color. All right in there. So this is how my eyes look. I'm going to go ahead and just finish off applying some eyelashes. I am going to be using... Uh, what eyelashes should I use? I am going to be using most likely Kiss eyelashes. Because those are one of my favorite brands. And we're going to go ahead and use Beehive. And I'll be right back with the finishing look. 
Alrighty beauty, so the sun has gone down already as you guys can tell. This is my look. I kind of really, I don't really play with pink a lot. I love to stay in my warm tone colors, but this is actually a really beautiful color. I love the way that this pink comes out. What do you guys think? <gasps> we did not set our face. OMG. Mm. It's okay, it's okay. We're always on a rush either way. Still looks good. I'll see beauties in my next video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys. I know my nails are ugly. <laughs>